Hello, it's Jim, and how are you doing today? It is Adam here, aka Irish Welsh Celt, in a race to Milan episode, guys. And we're going to kick off this episode playing against a bronze team. First of all, guys, I want everyone to do this that you're watching the video. I still haven't got a definitive answer as to what I should do once I lose a game. There's like what kind of like I haven't actually lost the game yet. I think I might have won come up in a couple of episodes time, but I haven't played since then. So please leave a suggestion as to what I should do in that eventuality as to what happens to the series. Um yeah, we did I'll explain some changes coming up after this game. But this game was a fairly comfortable game. Um we did win three 0 He didn't pose that much of a threat. Like I said he had a bronze team so I'm kind of still building up the team, but there are some weak areas, particularly in the goalkeeping and department, which I would love to get someone new on. But uh, I've actually just changed around. I've done a little zoom in and whatnot, so I think that looks a bit nicer on YouTube, where you have a full screen and you can see it a bit more clearly for you guys. So we, as you can see there, we've got Mr. Alexandra Pato out there, and we bought a little Pato for ourselves. Five star skater, obviously a lovely striker. Uh, that will do us good and you might notice I'm not searching in the 442 because as many of you pointed out um, I was an idiot and for some reason just put it in the 442 formation originally even though um, I failed to realise that Milan don't have wingers <laughs> uh, I think they have one wingers but um, yeah so we changed around the formation and this is what we got for a new team so as you say I just rebought everyone I had in the old formation in the new formation and basically um, I just bought a load of Italian players for like the lowest I could find in that position if you know what I mean price wise because I had English people there but I was like I might as well just stick Italians in there since I'm building an Italian team if you know what I mean and it, you're not going to be crucified um, chemistry wise so that's just showing you what I paid for it all and that guy the guy in centre forward that was the cheapest I could get there wasn't any Italian centre forwards in that position it was really a pain in the backside but anyway guys this was a, this was a really tough game this was and the guy got so fucking lucky there I hate when that happens he I, I forgot to actually edit in the game but he had basically a, um, a silver Mexican league squad and that Benitez was in form I think he was a goal in form but I hate that when it happens when you tackle the wall into their player and they score so uh, since I got a bit unlucky there I didn't feel that bad <laughs> doing a little sweaty front post cross and uh, here Alexander Pato does and this is an absolutely beautiful chip look at that for a goal bottom corner of Alexander Pato got some salt with them chips baby oh yeah Pato what a goal um, and that put us 2-1 up and a nice little ball there picture perfect for Pato once again finishing the back of the defender his defender probably could have done a bit better in that eventuality but uh, at the end of the day, I'll take it. It's a goal. Here's some slick passing from him. Really just does my defence there with the pace. And the goalkeeper, pff, I don't know, I reckon he should have done better there, but on his near post. But like I said, that's a department I really want to get um, short up on. Again, there, the defence really should have done. Can't really blame the goalkeeper there, but I thought the defender had him. I hate that one, the kind of them little p rows that you think you have. So then it went on into extra time, guys, and. Uh, we did actually get the winger again, Pato, in his first game. I think that was a hat trick for Pato in his first game. Um, abusing that pace for days, boys. Uh, so <laughs> that was a yeah, nice win for us in that first game against what was a tough opposition, tough team to play against. Um, so after that game, as always, we went to the roulette machine. We put our remaining players into the machine. We spun it and out came a certain Mr. Aqualani. Now, the only thing about Aqualani was um, Aqualani by default is a CM, I think. Um, and trying to find him in CDM was a near impossible because EA have not figured out how to actually sort a player um, by individually. You can only sort them by nationality, so there was like loads of other Italian and defensive guys. But I also couldn't find my information. I still haven't been able to see him in my formation yet. So at the moment, I'm using an off formation guy. I thought a 4 2 2 2 formation would be okay because he's the two central defensive mids. But no, he doesn't get any chem in that formation. Uh, formation wise, that's one. a bit of pain there. <laughs> it was, I thought that was an absolutely hilarious goal. Benera, like, gets the defender and his keeper's, like, waiting for the ball to come to him. Benera just kind of jumps in. <laughs> and, uh,. It's in the back of the net, but this was kind of a fairly easy game. I can't, I, w I could have won more, but I was messing around with skills so much in this game. But um, yeah, we did get. This was a bit of a nice goal from Pato. Um, again, just doing a bit of skills with Pato, messing around, flicking the stick for days, boys. But uh, yeah, I got, I got 100 likes again yesterday, guys, which was pretty insane. If we could smash 100 likes again, that would be 
unbelievable and if you're new please do subscribe and uh, because like I said I'm going to be bringing this series more regularly and once I've done with Milan I'll be doing loads of other teams so I'm going to need your feedback on how we can improve the series and any feedback on how you would like to see the series change, improve and what direction you would like to see it go please do drop it in the comments because that really helps me immensely after that game we did win 4-0 we dropped the fruit machine and guess who we got El Shari baby yeah buddy um, so we got the silver um if you don't know El Shari is a 5 star skiller fucking cost me a fucking bomb 60,000 it was the cheapest on the market but um, like I said I have to get him so guys that's the team as we leave the episode and um, please smash the shit out of the like button and subscribe if you're new I'll chat to you later new episode probably coming tomorrow bye